the goal, first and foremost, uh, and this is every year, is to win the conference. Um, that's something that, you know, when I came in last year, said right away, like that's that's always going to be our goal, is to win the conference. We're not happy to just be there to be good enough. You know, we want to be the best and, and go to the NCAA tournament. Um, you know, individually, there's certain there's goals. Obviously, uh, like with our captain, senior Brian, you know, he wants he's he's taken the uh, two-time defending conference player of the year to three sets two years in a row. Like he wants to be the conference player of the year, and he's he's been close. He's been close the last two years, um, so he has a real shot at that. And that's you know, there's other guys that have you know we've we like to place guys on uh, first team all conference and as many in all conference teams as we can. Um, but yes, I mean that's you know, there's some individual goals of ours, but obviously you know we want to win the conference. We want we want to go undefeated in the conference, which we were close to last year. We were six and one. And, um, we think we have a real shot at that this year, and we'd like to take that next step forward. It's uh, you know, it's all the fall season. The way we treat it, um, especially the matches in the fall, are really like a brief preseason. So it's more of, you know, that matches count obviously to our record and everything. They're not conference matches, so it doesn't affect conference standings. But they're more, they're more for us to see what we have with our new players coming in, um, how our like how our returners look compared to last spring. You know, to tell, we'll be able to tell who's been. You know, who's been improving, who's been working. So, you know, that fall definitely helps. Obviously, it, it culminates in the fall with the, uh, the MAC individual tournament, which is a big deal. You know, we had our number one doubles team uh, on the guy side get to the final. That's the first time that's ever happened. And, you know, so we're, we're proud of Brian and, and Warden for the, for the work they did there. And, um, you know, so we obviously the, the fall MAC tournament is something that we want to perform well in. Um, but again, we'd much rather perform well in the spring conference tournament than the fall individual tournament because that's what really matters. Myself, like as a coach, I focus a lot on doubles. Um, every match you start with one, two, and three doubles. Uh, you know, so being able to sweep doubles and start with a 3-0 lead heading into singles is radically different than you know being down 2-1 or even being up 2-1. You know, so it's certainly we focus a lot on doubles. So I think that that breeds that chemistry a little bit just because we spend so much time on it. Um, but also, you know, credit should be given to, to Warden and Brian uh, for they, they just hit it off. They just have played well together since, you know, right from the get-go in the fall. Warden is a new addition. He transferred in this fall. And, um, you know, that was certainly a question mark heading into the MAC. You know, we lost Peter Hobbit until he graduated, Brian's uh, doubles partner, and they were undefeated in the conference last year. And, you know, so there was a question mark of whether we'd be able to continue that success at top. But, uh, you know, I think Brian is, you know, he's a team captain for a reason. He's a good leader. And, Warned and followed his lead, and, and now they, they feed off each other, and it's like you saw in practice. It, it really is. It's nice to watch. You know, first we have a lot of you know the lineups can be radically different than last year. You know, just looking at the team that we finished with last spring, we're not returning our two, three, four, and five singles players. So we have a lot of new blood. Um, we have a couple new, you know, a couple transfers, a couple guys that, that came in this fall, uh, Mike Richmond and, and Warned and Lai, who are certainly going to be playing the lineup for us and hopefully uh, performing well at the top of the lineup for us. Uh, but also guys like, like Peter Pia, Doug Vaughn, Kevin Sleitner, Tony Beers that are returning that have really made big strides, um, you know, certainly since last spring, but also uh, since this past fall. So all those guys know that you know, we're, we have big shoes to fill from guys that we lost last year. And um, you know, they're prepared and ready to step up and, and be successful, and they'll need to be in order for our team to be successful.